This video is sponsored by Master 3D with Professor. We'll talk about this best-rated 3D animation course later in this video. With the help of 3D animation, why not let's understand the science behind your watering eyes while cutting onion. That is, why do onions make you cry? To understand the science behind onions, first we'll have to grasp two small concepts. In general, it looks like this when we sow onion seedlings into the ground. And after a few months, when we pull out the fully grown onion from the ground, it looks something like this. In these few months' journeys of becoming young from an innocent, aside from absorbing nutrients from the ground, onion also absorbs one non-metallic chemical element, which gave birth to this meme. And that element is sulfur. This sulfur inside the onion is turned into amino acid sulfoxides with time. But wait, 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 wait. Professor, we're not having fun. Remove such complex terms and talk about something in our daily lives. All right. You must have noticed there is a bit of oily substance on the inner surface of the onion when it is cut. This is the oily substance that gives onion its unique flavor. And this is the same oily substance within which a class of molecules is found, amino acid sulfoxides. I repeat, remember from first concept, we have learned about amino acid sulfoxides? As soon as the onion came in your hand from the ground, and as you cut the onion, what you saw in the real world is, this knife cut this onion. But if seen from the microscopic level, this knife cut the onion cells. An enzyme is found inside the onion cells, which is called lacrimatory factor synthase. As soon as the knife cuts the onion cell, this lacrimatory factor synthase enzyme is released into the air. Now, if I summarize these two concepts from the first concept, we understand that this oily substance is placed on the inner surface of the onion, which is amino acid sulfoxides. From the second concept, we understood that the lacrimatory factor synthase enzyme is right here in the air due to the cutting of cells. The actual game begins here. This lacrimatory factor synthase enzyme will react with amino acid sulfoxides to convert it into sulfenic acid. This sulfenic acid is volatile and rearranges into a chemical that no one can pronounce. And that chemical is synpropanethyl S-oxide. This synpropanethyl S-oxide is the root cause of all the problems. And it is only synpropanethyl S-oxide that comes flying into our eyes, due to which we get tears while cutting onions. Let's understand how. Going back to school life, let's remind ourselves of the eye anatomy. This is the lens of our eyes, a convex lens that changes its focal length with the help of these ciliary muscles. This dark muscular structure on the outside is called iris, and to control how much light should enter our eyes, we have a pupil. This cornea is what covers the iris, and this cornea is the outermost part of our eye. What surprises me is that maximum people don't know that a total of three types of tears are released from our eyes. The first type is emotional tears. One that comes out of our eyes when we're too happy or too sad is called emotional tears. The second type is reflex tears. Whenever a straw, an irritant, or anything that can damage our eyes enter our eyes, tears that are released to wash such things are called reflex tears. And the third type is basal tears. You must have noticed that our eyes are always slightly wet or moist. These tears which remain in our eyes 24-7 are called basal tears. The most crucial role of these basal tears is to protect our eyes from dust, dirt, and other harmful microparticles. Before showing you the mechanism of the brain's reaction in 3D, here's a gentle reminder. Finally, the launch date of the English version of the revolutionary Master 3D with Professor course is out. In this 3D animation premium training program, I'll teach you how to create 3D videos in record time. There will be 70% early bird flat discount for the first 1,000 students only. To book your slot and learn more about once-in-a-lifetime admission fees, 
kindly visit BrainRig.com and subscribe to my authentic newsletter. No spam, guaranteed. Anyways, now as soon as this chemical called synpropothenyl S oxide comes in contact with these basal tears and cornea, with the help of these ciliary nerves, our brain will know that there is something fussy. Our brain will immediately order lacrimal glands to release tears to wash out this chemical. These lacrimal glands, which are located just above our eyes, will immediately release tears from these ducts, and this synpropothenyl S oxide chemical will be thoroughly washed out. So, if I sum up this whole topic in one line, it would be not wrong to say that we have tears while cutting onions to save our eyes from their chemicals. Thanks for watching this video, and make sure you book your slot on brainrig.com to get a 70% flat discount.